Mark chapter 11, verse 22 to 24. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Faith is everywhere. Even unbelievers exhibit faith every single day going to the bus stop and waiting for the bus to come at its scheduled time requires faith. Sitting on a chair requires faith. Before you sit down, you don't go around the chair checking its sturdiness. No, you don't. Ten times out of ten, you sit down without second thought. That takes faith. Everyone, every single day, exercises their faith but we don't know. Before you sleep, you set an alarm to wake you up in the morning. That is faith. You want to travel. You go to the airport. You get yourself a flight ticket. You enter the airplane without knowing who the captain is. You are in a container in the air, 38,000 feet. The person flying this container, you don't know them. You've never met them. You don't know if the pilot is an expert or not, but you believe no one will employ someone who is not a professional to fly an airplane. You just believe that you will get to where you are going. You use faith daily. Now, I'm going to talk to you about faith from a different angle today. What we are going to talk about is faith as a weapon. This is the type of faith that says, mountain be moved, the faith that is used consciously, the faith that you take to the battle with you, faith that you use as a weapon. The number one truth we need to know is that life is a battlefield. Everyone must fight every day. As long as you have breath in your lungs, you have battles to fight. You cannot just sit around and feel you are comfortable with the way things are. What would a Christian life be like when there is no faith? What will a soldier look like if there is no weapon? You have to know yourself and know what you must carry with you at all time. The Bible mentioned faith to be a shield. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. If you are going to war without a shield, how can you cover yourself? All arrows fired at you. You are not complete without the shield. The Bible called the word of God a sword. You have the sword with you, but you don't have the shield. The sword cannot protect you the way the shield will protect you. You have to be truthful to yourself. Stop opening yourself to the devil to attack. You need this shield. There are many things that we want to become in this life. We have plans, and God has plans for us too. Do you think the devil will sit back and look at your plans? and allow God's plan to come into fruition in your life? He won't. He will always attack you. He will always fire arrows. He has a threefold plan for your life. John chapter 10 verse 10 The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I don't know about you, but if this is someone's plan for me, and to kill me, and to destroy me, I take that personally. Therefore, you and I need to make sure we are protected by the shield of faith. 
Where is your shield? Where is your faith? You want to face the devil with the word of God, but you don't believe in it. You don't have faith in it. Where is your faith? Are you not tired of planning and failing? Are you not tired of the enemy mocking you? You have noticed in your life that it is when you have money that you fall sick and you are okay with it. Have you noticed that any time you want to start a business or something great in your life, some horrible things come up in? And when you look back at your life, you see a trend. You know this and you remain silent. The Bible says that above all, you must have the shield of faith. Why? Because the devil is always firing at you. He will fire an arrow of sickness into your family and stop you from using your money for something good. He fired an arrow of conflict into your family and stop the love from growing. Where is your faith? Faith is a shield. You are not complete without it. If you put on the other armors and you refuse to carry the shield of faith, you are still open for attack. You are not properly guarded. A man noticed that any time he planned to do something good with his wife, shortly after they agreed on a plan, a massive fight would always erupt. He saw this trend after planning, and before they start executing the plan, they would always argue, and they would not go with the plan. This man knew something was not right, and he prayed. The Holy Spirit revealed to him that his wife was not the problem. Neither was he. The enemy was firing an arrow of conflict in his marriage. The Holy Spirit instructed him that him and his wife must have faith and fight the enemy. They must use that faith to keep moving forward. He did this. And the next time they did not allow quarreling to stop them from doing what they have planned. The devil will always want to stop you. Don't be too comfortable. Stand up and pick up the shield of faith. The shield of faith is not only used to stop arrows fired at you. It is used to go through the storms of life. Many people have drowned in this life because they do not use faith to shield themselves away from storms. What are the challenges you are facing in your life? What are the things that are giving you a hard time in this life? Can I tell you the truth? They are storms. They are arrows fired by the devil to shake you. What you have to do is get hold of the shield of faith and shield yourself from these things. Move forward by faith. Keep marching like a soldier by faith. Let your faith rest in the Lord. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12 says, Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. You have to fight. You have to be ready to fight at all time. You must fight with faith. It is called the good fight. You must fight. What does the shield of faith do to you in spiritual warfare? 1. It gives you courage. When you have something that can shield you from arrows, you will have the courage to fight. God told us many times that He is with us. He told us not to be afraid of anything because His presence is always with us. If we have faith in these words and we stand by them, we will have the courage to use these words to fight. Joshua made use of this weapon, faith. God told him in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, that have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, with so ever thou goest. He became strong because of the faith he had in these words. God is telling you the same thing. Stop being scared. God is with you. He is telling you that you must be strong. He is telling you that if you go into that battle, he will always be there for you. He is 
telling you that if storms come, he will be there to keep you safe. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Have faith in these words, it will be a shield for you when the enemy strikes, hold on to them with faith. When things are not going well with you, when challenges are coming like wind, God says, He knows the plans He has for you. They are good plans. Hold on to this with faith. It is a shield to guide you when challenges are overwhelming. If you have faith in you, God will be pleased with you and this means that He will always be there for you, even when you go into the war zone. The Bible has said in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, that, but without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him.